This is how you can code a meme command for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go to community and we're going to go ahead and create meme.js. If you'd like to use this handler, the link to the video will be in the description below. Otherwise, just go ahead and create the bulk of the code in your handler and this will work perfectly fine. So we can start off by defining the slash command builder. So we can do const slash command builder equals require and we can do at discord.js slash builders. Now we can define our embed builder, so we can do const embed builder equals require, and we'll do discord.js. Now we're going to go ahead and do module.exports equals, we'll open this up, data, new slash command builder, we can say dot set name, and this will be meme, we can set a description, in here we can say this is a meme command, we can add a comma, we can do async execute, we'll do interaction, and we can go ahead and open this up. In here, the first step is actually to create a function so we can fetch the memes from a random meme JSON file. So we can do async function and we'll do the name of the function. So I'm just gonna do meme and then we can open this up. In here, we're gonna do a wait, fetch, and in here, we're gonna go ahead and get that JSON file. This link right here will be in the description of this video. This is what that link actually looks like. So it's basically just gonna pull a bunch of random memes from this JSON file. Now we can come down here and do dot then, and we can open this up. We'll do async r arrow function and open this up as well. We can do let meme equals await r.json, and we can go ahead and close that off. Then we can do let title equals meme, and we'll do zero. We can do dot data dot children and we'll do zero and then we can do dot data dot title so basically this is just pulling all of the information from this file right here we're going to do that a few more times for the image and the author so we can do let image equals meme and we'll do zero we can do dot data dot children and in here we can do zero as well and then we can do data dot url and we can close that off lastly we're going to do the same thing for the author so we can do let author equals meme and then we can do zero and then we can do the same thing data dot children and then in here we can do zero and then we can do data to author. So we're just pulling the title, URL, and author from this post right here. Now we're going to go ahead and create an embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. Do set color and we can do blue. We can do dot set title. In here we're going to do a string and this is going to be our title. We'll do dot set image and this will also be a string and that is going to be image. And then we'll do set URL and this is also going to be string which will be image as well. Last we can do set footer and we can open this up. We're going to say text and we're going to do author just like that. Now we can go ahead and send this. We can do wait interaction dot reply and we can do embeds and we'll pass in our embed just like that all right so now we're going to come out of this function which is right here all we have to do to make this actually run when the command is executed is we're just going to type meme and put parentheses just like that this will work because that is the name of the function that we just created here and inside that function we pulled all of the random memes that we want to use from this post and then we went ahead and got all of that information which we then put into an embed and send it in the discord channel. Then down here we just simply executed that function. So that is all you have to do for a meme command so we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. Over in the discord server we can just run our meme command just like that and it is going to take a little bit of time because we are using this function here but it it will actually work so as you can see it's going to give us the meme it's going to give us the author of the meme and it's going to give us the name which will link to the actual meme now you are going to notice this in the console right here it's going to say the fetch api is an experimental feature this could change at any time so as of right now we can use the fetch api like it said in the console it may change at any time because we are using discord api but for right now this will work so we can go ahead and try this a few more times just to prove that this is actually random as you can see it's going to load and it's going to give us a completely different meme we can do this again and as you can see it will load and it's going to give us another different meme so we can keep doing this pretty much forever and ever and ever and it will just give us completely random memes off of reddit we'll run it one more time for good measure as you can see that is another random meme that's how you can code a meme command for your discord.js version 14 bot if you need any help go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out and with that i'll see you guys in the next video